Hello, good rising, good day, and uh, thank you for, for joining me this uh, Tuesday, the 26th of January. I'm uh, bringing you uh, a healthy video, electromagneto related universal law. I'm going to um, I'm going to look at the router box and 5G, how to turn off the 5G on your router box. So um, if you bear with me, I'm going to present you my uh, wireless router box or the wireless router box. It's not mine. Um, the screen is enlarged and I'm uh, I'm going I'm on the basic screen here. So go to your router box in a physical box in the home. And if you uh, look at the reverse of it, somewhere there, there should be the um, the name of the router, the company details, the um, serial number, model number, router, login, details, passwords, um, etc. You know, keys, network names, things like that. This uh, video is going out to a brother called Lyndon, a.k.a. Soundwave who was the man who uh, reminded me that for the home, you might want to look at turning off the 5G um, capability and just use the 2.4 gigahertz. So five gigahertz, when we say 5G, that's what it appertains to, five gigahertz bandwidth frequency. So if we look on this basic screen for the EE, um, broadband router box you have I'm on the basic tab broadband settings go to if you have this box go to here um, there is also a login screen I suppose I could have showed you but I won't do that because it has username and password on and for security we'll leave that out okay but um, I do believe I would go, if I remember rightly, it is half past eight in the morning, so 8.30 to be correct. Half past is not really in that slang. Um, sorry for that, but you get where I'm coming from. Here we go. Basic tab, wireless settings, two clicks to get to you. And you have um, options on this page it provides basic settings to enable the wireless network mode it must be set to b and g mode in the 2.4 gigahertz settings section in order to enable wep security i'm not going to get into that now what that is but you'll see 2.4 gigahertz settings menu selection enable disable wireless it is clicked enable. We have a wireless mode, N only, B and G or B, G and N. I have B, G and N selected. Sometimes in the home, you may find that your Wi-Fi is weak or it interferes with next door. If next door's is on number 11 and yours is on number 11, then, um, then that will not work very well. You know, you can go here and select from one to um, 13. Yeah, so I've got it on 11. There are other channels you can try. I don't know if one is better than the other. They're all some set at random sometimes when they arrive. Okay, I have changed the name of the Wi-Fi to Sovereign Wi-Fi. It is broadcast SSID is enabled. Security is the WPA. WPA, sorry, or no security. WPA mode is on WPA oblique, WPA2 mixed mode. There is a password there that I'm gonna change after this video. I've put that on just for now. Okay, so that will be changed. Um, and that's as simple as putting in whatever you want and then pressing save, okay. Um, and five gigahertz settings. You'll notice enable, disable, wireless. Instead of enable, it is on disable. So you would click there or there. Okay. Wireless mode is the selection there. So 5 gigahertz, or we say 5G. Simply then you go to here and you save settings. 
and it does this. Applied changes successfully, the process may take up to 30 seconds. If you are making wireless changes, you may need to reconnect to the wireless network. And then you'll wait for maybe up to a minute or so, and all is done. That is, in a nutshell, how you log in to your wireless router and um, select or non-select. I'm not given any medical advice, I'm not given any legal advice as always. This is uh, entertainment information only. There are concerns from a lot of us about the 2000 scientists that came out and said, we're not sure if there's been enough research done with 5G, five gigahertz settings the uh, studies done on um, deck phones, a deck phone, that's what's uh, a deck, as in a boat deck. They are the uh, handsets that you have that are portable around the house for your landlines. Those deck phones have been put near um, in and around beehives. And um, the bees have dwindled in numbers, in strength, um, with returning back to the hive once the deck phones that's a radio frequency operated mobile home landline phone research the deck phone and bees that was a good 10 15 years ago minimum when radio frequency rf romeo foxtrot deck phones come out and i have watched quite a few documentaries and um, with regards to um, freedom of information and public disclosure from companies saying that 5G has not been tested. Um, I'm not going to give you the documentary names and everything like that. I'd like this video to stay up. But if you search and use your discovery, as we do with law, and find out what, uh, what certification and endorsement is out there for 5 gigahertz settings. 2.4 gigahertz, I'm not saying that's healthy either. Um, Nikolai Tesla was um, quoted saying the secrets to the universe, frequency, resonance and vibration and had ways of transmitting electricity wireless, the Tesla Tower for one, um, Warncliffe Tower or Wardencliffe, was it Tower? Edison, Marconi, Faraday, Stymex comes to mind if you research them, Eric Dollard, Boom. So uh, there's a lot out there that I've looked at that I'm competent with. I'm not a scientist, neither am I an internet engineer, but I am a self-scholar, scholar, scholarship, a self-professed, uh, um, knowledgeable sage, message of the ages, a sage with a message from the ages. And uh, my, this is my message to you. 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth is going to be less likely to cause harm than 5 gigahertz bandwidth. Okay, so that's all this video is about. If you have any information about this, please contact uh, myself with an email and the information. That would be contact at splspro.com. That will do, and I will share that and make another video with what you give. I'm now going to proceed to change this password and um, save the settings. So that will do for today. It's a simple wireless settings within your router system setup. It won't be in um, the status area. That tells you your connections and the wireless name and things like that. It will be within the basic, the advanced I wouldn't even go there, to be honest. Uh, you can you can rest assured from me, you proceed with caution. Changing settings in this system area may affect your broadband service. So if you break your broadband and it doesn't work, I accept no liability. Okay, it wasn't me, in the infamous words of the uh, pop icon Shaggy. I'm just telling you what I have done and how I have done it. If you don't know what to do, get somebody around that does, somebody in the family that, uh, that is computer literate, 
tell them you'd like to find out how to set or even ring up your internet service provider and say, Brother David has showed me um, that his uh, home router box is now only on the 2.4 gigahertz setting as opposed to the 5 gigahertz setting. Is that something I am able to do? At this your property whatever country landmass continent you're on and then ask them over the phone so thank you much love have a great day see you soon ciao bello